Don't y'all ever use the word Morgan and bald head in the same sense unless you're talking about Morgan Freeman. Uh, let me get a steak quesadilla. Um, and let me get a two-pack of the Cinnabon Delights. Let me get a small ba a, a small Baja Blast Freeze. That's it. All right, so we ain't done. Thank you. I feel so guilty ordering that shit. I'm good. How about you? Thank you. Uh-huh. 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 So? Get some mild sauce, please. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, you too. Whoo, child, y'all. I cannot believe I'm starting off my week with fucking Taco Bell. I feel like a terrible human being. Oh my gosh, I'm so disappointed in myself. But you know what? Tonight, we are gonna start eating healthy. I got some salmon in the fridge. I got some spinach in the fridge. We gonna eat healthy tonight, y'all. We gonna eat healthy tonight. Anywho, happy Monday, everyone. Today is Monday, May 1st. May 1st! The first day of the best month of the year. For those of y'all that don't know, your girl's birthday is in May. May 18th, to be specific. Taurus gang, baby! Woo! Y'all, I haven't had Taco Bell in a minute. I'm going to give y'all the backstory as to why I'm eating Taco Bell. Let me take my shades off so y'all know how real this is. Actually, I'm going to put the shades back on because, baby, I'm looking wild with this hair. So my hair is the reason why uh, I'm eating Taco Bell. I definitely plan on going straight home after work and just eating dinner at home. But as the day went on and I just kept seeing myself either like in a mirror or in like a reflection, I was looking at my hair and I was like, Morgan, you got to do something. The hair, like, yes, I'm showing, you know, my natural coils and blah, blah, but baby, we got to step it up. We got to step it up. So, um, I text, I texted my, um, my natural hairstylist and I was like, like, hey, do you have any availability this evening or tomorrow? evening i need help and luckily she said she had availability today so let me tell y'all i highly suggest suggest finding an older woman to do your hair because these older women they don't do all that you gotta go to my site you gotta pay a deposit you gotta book me two million months in advance find you a lady that is in her 40s at the youngest i promise you you will not have to deal with the bullshit that these new age stylists be doing. But yeah, it's 4.32, my appointment's at five. Let me pray real quick. Cannot believe I'm praying over Taco Bell. I know God is laughing at me. Ooh, y'all see that cheese? But yeah, so since I made this last, I literally made this appointment like an hour or two ago. I knew I wasn't gonna have time to go all the way home cook dinner and then go all the way back out to uh, my hair appointment so I figure I just get some quick and I'm not even gonna hold y'all I was in the mood for some Taco Bell because I haven't had Taco Bell in some months oh this is about the bus see I put the sauce directly on the quesadilla just like that mm. y'all mm. yes God man look it is what it is. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all, side note, I know it's kind of wild for me to have this teddy on and it's like 70 degrees outside. It was 40 degrees this morning and I just kept the ja jacket on pretty much all day. Mm. I know y'all can't see it. Baja Blast. Taco Bell, if you watching this, sponsor me. But yeah, I'm going to be getting a silk press. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous because I've been going to this woman for years, but I've never gotten a silk press from her. But honestly, I'm just like, F it. I really wanna get a trim before I get my birthday hairstyle. And I feel like the best time to get a trim is when you get a silk press. And I felt like it would make a lot of sense 
because I'm, I'm going to shoot to get my hair done in less than two weeks so i feel like the silk press will be the perfect style because silk presses only last me two weeks if that mm. also i didn't mention this i play volleyball intramural volleyball and we usually play every tuesday but tomorrow is actually we have a bye week so i was like okay this is perfect because usually if i were to get a silk press and have a game i would definitely sweat that shit out so I think this is an even better time to get a silk press. Mm. Cinnabon's kind of stale. I still eat it though, I paid for it. Ooh, ooh, we on the last slice. This last slice, cause it ain't falling over or nothing. It's barely any meat in here, y'all see that? They doing me dirty. Oh, got these little crumbs of meat in there. Y'all just open this slice. There ain't nothing in this. So they scammed me out of one quesadilla slice. However, the other three slices were absolutely bust. All right, so it is 4.43. I got 17 minutes until my appointment. We're on good time because I think it's only 10 minutes away from him. No more than 15. However, I did not know I was gonna be getting my hair done today, so I did not bring any AirPods, headphones, or anything like that. So I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do while I'm getting my hair done. Ooh, I'm not even gonna eat this second Cinnabon. I'm Cinnabon style. Maybe that's God's way of telling me, Morgan, you need to eat healthier. I do eat healthy sometimes. Well, let me correct that. When I'm at home, I eat a lot healthier, but like when I'm out, I don't really be eating healthy for real. When I'm at home, I'm definitely quick to cook some salmon or some chicken or some fish. I have plenty of vegetables at home, but when I'm out, I just be needing what's quick. And the quick stuff be the unhealthy stuff. But anywho, side note, it is very wild that I have not booked my hair appointment yet for my birthday hair, but it's so hard for me to make decisions, y'all. And I don't even know what style I want. So I need to decide what style I want, and then I need to decide what color I want. Because with it being my birthday, I kind of want, you know, like a cute color, either blonde or maybe ginger or something. But I'm so picky, I'm just like, well, if I get a color, I gotta see if my outfits are gonna look weird with the hair color. Which, granted, uh, I don't have any unique or special outfits planned. I haven't ordered a single outfit yet, but I, I tend to just overthink about this stuff. So my goal is to have my hair appointment booked, if not today, tomorrow at the latest. I already have my nail appointment booked since I'm going to Japan and since I want really fancy birthday nails. I'm gonna get some kawaii nails, some nails that have the big, I don't know what they're called, the big charms and stuff on them. That's what I want. So I need to find some inspo on the Pinterest or whatnot and I need to see send it to my nail tech so she can uh, order whatever she'll need because she already showed me some of the stuff that she has but I wasn't feeling it because she had like some they look like little pieces of candy but I want to go for like a more Hello Kitty Sanrio look or I don't know maybe I might do a mix of Sanrio stuff and uh, candy stuff or I may add some anime stuff in there I, don't know, I gotta figure it out but the number one thing is that I have my nail appointment booked. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. But I, I thank God for my hair lady, baby. Because I'm the type of person, I be wanting my hair done that same day. And baby, she be coming through. I ain't gonna lie though, y'all. I'm really nervous to get this silk press. I haven't gotten a silk press literally, I think in like a year and a half. I think it would have been November. 2021 i think that was the last time i got a silk press so i'm really nervous i'm fully anticipating my hair to not last very long at all i don't really care for real because in my mindset is that when my hair starts to poop up i can just put some rollers in it or i could like twist it up or something like that or just like do a cute little ponytail or something 
So I literally just need something that will last me. Oh shit! I literally just need something that will last me until my birthday here. All right, we just made it, y'all. It is 4:51. We got here quick, so I'm gonna use these nine minutes to try to finish off this Baja Blast. You know it's real when you get to the end you gotta shake it up because it start clumping up damn i just got a straw full of syrup damn the 20 percent battery notification just popped up on my phone y'all so i'm gonna stop vlogging for now but i'm gonna vlog a little bit at my appointment hopefully my girl has a charger i'm pretty sure she does all right y'all the door was locked <laughs> so i'm back in the car I text her, I said, I'm here, the door is locked. I know she's here because I see her car. So I'm just going to be patient. I ain't got nowhere to be. I ain't got nothing planned this evening. I ain't got no problem just chilling in my car. Okay, we at the salon, baby. I love the vibe in here. Say hey, Christine. Hey. Can I show, uh, what's this, the esthetician yeah. room? So this the spa room. Here's the mirror, there I go. So cute in here, got a TV over here and a TV right here. There the chair, so cute. So let me sit down. All right, I am freshly washed and I'm under the steamer. Y'all see that steam? Gotta get that steam, baby. <laughs> Christine, look at she got me looking like I got a sewing, baby. Y'all, are you fucking shitting me? Wait, I gotta show y'all the curls in the back, baby. I had no idea that my hair was gonna look like this. It looked like I got a sewing or something. Baby, God is good. Shout out to Christine. She did her damn thing. I feel like I need to go out. I know it's Monday, but baby, I need to be in the curb. I'm just playing. I'm about to take my ass home. Let me put my hair in the front so I don't squeeze it. Y'all, I am flabbergasted. Woo, child. God is good. Let me tell y'all something. Hold on. Christine did her damn thing. And I got a trim too. And she said I needed a trim. And I was like, shoot, trim me up, baby. Cause I'm all about the health, all right? But yeah, your girl got some inches. Don't y'all ever use the word Morgan and bald head in the same sense, unless you are talking about Morgan Freeman. And even he ain't bald headed. Oh yeah, but yeah, y'all, I know. Make sure I'm going the right way. But yeah, y'all. Shout out to them two strand twists and them steam treatments that I was in. Cause baby, I'm so happy that I found a protective style that actually protects my hair. Cause baby, wigs are not protective styles for me. Braids, like box braids, or whatchamacallit, soft locks, those are not protective styles for me. The number one style that actually protects my hair is the mini twist turn my hair up. Get out the road, you bird. I hate it when birds be in the road. Y'all can fly. Why y'all, what y'all doing down here with us earth dwellers? So yeah, y'all, I'm in a great mood. I, I need to make some TikToks today or I need to do a stream today. Oh, today's Monday. I could do a Morgan of the Leaf Monday stream. Ooh, I'm thinking about streaming today. For those of y'all that don't follow me on Twitch, which if you're following me on YouTube and not following me on Twitch, I got beef with you. I am currently playing Kirby in the Forgotten Land. It's been a cute game. It hasn't been too hard. And I've just enjoyed playing it because I played Little Nightmares 1 and Little Nightmares 2 and I was literally having nightmares. So now I'm playing a little cute game. But anywho, y'all, I'm on the freeway now, so I'm going to stop filming. Bye. All right, we in some light giving Kamala Harris <laughs> like, I said that because they be making a joke on Twitter that all Kamala be doing is getting silk press <laughs> ain't making no laws or nothing but yeah y'all I am in love with my hair I just wanted to give y'all a better look of it in the light and I, uh, I'm also taking these videos so I can keep track of my length 
because baby, if this is what it's getting when it's curled, y'all wanna see it when I straighten it out. And I feel real bad that I'm not going anywhere tonight because I know for a little fact that my hair is not going to look like this tomorrow. But it's all good because I'm about to um, either stream, do some TikToks, or both. I just got to figure out. I got to see what I feel like doing because I still got my work clothes on. Oh, let me show y'all my work fit. But yes, this is, so this is the work fit. I have on this pink long sleeve collared zip down top and i'm pretty sure i got this top from charlotte roots and then i got on these high-waisted not flare these high-waisted wide oh, i have this going down somewhere i have on these high-waisted wide leg pants i know they look black on the camera but they're actually navy got these from Fashion Nova. I have those pants in literally three different colors and I plan on getting more too because I'm 5'9 and it's really hard for me to find pants that actually go to the floor. Well not the floor but right above the floor so I probably plan on buying them in more colors. But yeah I'm going to pause for now. I'm going to figure out whether I'm a stream or not. <laughs> Scratch that, y'all. I wanted to show y'all the two things I got from Amazon. Just a heads up, if you're not into like Amazon stuff, I got some bad news for you, baby. Let me tell y'all some. I tried to not get too much stuff on Amazon, but baby, the girlies be influencing me. So I got two dresses and I'm gonna show them to y'all. So this first dress, let me tell y'all. It's this girl, well, it's this woman. Her Instagram is, I think it's she T Lovely. She's an esthetician, she's a bad bitch, and she posted this video of this Amazon dress. Granted, I ain't gonna look how she look in the dress. She look amazing, I ain't gonna look the same, but I had to get it. I'ma show y'all the TikTok. Oh, golly. Talk about snatched. Oh, yeah, I didn't get the bodysuits, but the bodysuits look cute. So, yeah, I got me a dress in gray. And uh, it's this big YouTuber I follow. Her name is Talitha Jane. And I saw that she wore, like, a comfy maxi dress when she went to the airport. I was like, you know what? I never thought of wearing a comfy maxi dress to the airport. I used to always want to wear like jumpsuits, but then when you gotta use the bathroom, you gotta take the whole thing off. And then when I wear leggings, sometimes leggings will be too tight on my stomach. So I got the gray dress. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna try it on for y'all tonight or not, but yes, I think that this will be really cute. And even if I don't end up wearing it to the airport, um, or even if it doesn't like, look good on me, this could just be a house dress. Okay, I looked through my TikTok likes. I could not find the video of the bomb ass black girl that influenced me to buy this, but baby, she looked good in the dress, so I bought it too. But yeah, this is a black and white striped maxi dress. And this one, like, it's low in the back, which I think it's gonna look sexy. So like, this is the front and this is the back. Like, if the back is out. But now that I think about it, if I wanna wear a maxi dress on the plane, I probably should have bought a black one because if I get anything on the gray one, it's gonna be obvious. So if the gray one looks cute on me, I'll probably just order one in black too. I'm a little bummed. One of my ring lights has just gone out. I'm gonna show y'all. It's just stopped working. Luckily, thank God, my big one still works. But damn, this was my OG ring light. And it's messed up because it was just working on Saturday. And then Sunday morning, I took it out of the plug over here and moved it to that plug over there and it just stopped working. But yeah, definitely not trying to sound like, oh my gosh, I can get another ring light, but it's like, shoot, I got a lot of nostalgia tied to the ring light. But you know what? I put it back in its original plug. I'ma just pray on it. I'ma sleep on it. And maybe when I wake up tomorrow, it'll work, maybe not. But I think my stream should look fine. I might have more light coming in on one side than the other, but it's whatever at this point.
All right, y'all. The time is it's 9.22 p.m. and I have not done anything. I've just been watching a whole bunch of people stream. Everybody and their mama is streaming tonight. So I think it's a good thing that I've been streaming because I would much rather watch their streams than stream myself. But I am hungry, but it's too late to be eating like a heavy meal. So I'm about to eat some yogurt and blueberries. Then once I finish eating this snack, I'm going to I'm a cute, I put up, I laid out a cute little outfit. And so I'm gonna take some cute pictures and I'm gonna film a few TikToks. I've had some TikToks that I've wanted to film, so now that my hair looks cute, this is the perfect opportunity. Even though some of my curls have fallen already. But yeah, here's my snack. I'm about to eat this and then get ready to take some cute pictures. All right, y'all. It is 11.25 p.m. It's past my bedtime. I did take, uh, not take, I did film three informative TikToks, so... By the time y'all are watching this, they're already going to be up. But uh, yeah, I figured I would just take a little video. The curls kind of have fallen, but I'm really excited to see what it's going to look like tomorrow. So I'm about to close down shop. Good night.